Hey everybody, welcome to the initial episode of Mike's Man Cave. Today we're going to be featuring regular basic hamburgers. We also got the NASCAR All-Star Race from Charlotte Motor Speedway going and the Golden State Warriors game. So hey, stay tuned. Going to cook up some burgers, some hot dogs. Just have a good time here in the cave. That's what it's all about. Man Cave living, baby. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do, well, I got the Weber firing up over there. I'm going to slice up some onions. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these onions on the grill. We'll get a little crisp on them. Then we'll put them in a pan later with some garlic and let those uh, saute up real good for our burgers. All I'm looking for right here is just a good slice. Not Nothing fancy. Not like you see on these uh, gourmet shows or this man cave living. This is just about simplistic cooking. Simple. Nothing fine about this cooking. We're going to slice them up, put them in a pan with some garlic, a little bit of seasoning, and they're going to taste darn good. I'll get those all set up first. I'll just have the burger sitting right here. Alright, we got our burgers. Told you, nothing fancy, guys. Nothing frozen burgers today. We got a rainy day out here. We're gonna throw some, slap some frozen burgers on the grill, but we're gonna make them taste like they were hand prints. We got the, uh, the All Star Race about ready to fire up here. I'm hoping Kyle, number 18, can take it home. Kyle's my boy. I know he's not real popular, but that's all right. Rowdy Nation. We don't need him to be popular. Got the Warriors game on later. Got a little wager on the Warriors game. We'll see how that goes. You know, I hate the Warriors, but. Hey, money money has no favorites, man. Money has no favorites. We'll roll with it, see what happens. Got the grill firing up over here. A lot of smoke going, so let that smoke clear out a little bit. Oh yeah, that's starting to heat up nice. Of course, he can't barbecue without a beer. And nothing fancy today. We're going with the Natty Light, baby. I mean, 30 pack for 12 bucks. Can't go wrong with that. Of course, you got every San Francisco Giants class. Where we roll here in the cave. See, when you can put, when you can hold your hand over it like that, you do the hand test. You hold your hand, it's not ready yet. When you can't hold your hand over it, that's when, when, it's when you're ready to go. So we're close. We're getting close. We're just, yeah, there we go. We're just about there. See, we got a bed. We got a bed of coals right here. We're gonna pour the hot coals on top of them. They'll catch the bottom ones. Hopefully, get it. <laughs> Oh, that smoke, got you. So basically you're going for, you want your hot, you want your hot zone, you want your cold zone. Right over here is going to be your cold zone, hot zone right here. That way if things get out of hand, we can move it back over to the cold zone. So let's give a pour here and see how we're doing. Got our coals here. Oh yeah, that's looking good. So I'll throw these over here. Kind of just spread them out a little bit. There you go, that's pretty good, that's not bad. It's got a good even spread there. Those are catch, so let's get our grill on. Get that warm up, clean off a little bit. Now, some people will run a wire brush across that, and I'll probably do the same once it heat up a little bit, and we'll get that crust off there. I like that crust on there, though. Again, nothing fancy here, guys, nothing fancy. Right, so we're gonna use our G-Dubs rub here. It's not just a rub, it's good for seasoning. This is from a uh, late great friend of mine at work, passed away a few ago. Made this with his family, it was a little family business. This is honor Gary Welch. Gary, here's you, baby. Just get a little G-dubs on there. And these will go straight out of the grill here in a minute. Get over the grill, let's see how our coals are doing over here. It's starting to get a good little heat. We'll go ahead and we'll throw these onions on to start with. Just like that. I'm going to throw them down just like this. And again, we're going to spread these out. We're going to put these in the pan later. Get a little char on them. We'll throw some garlic in this pan with a little olive oil later. Okay. 
Watch that run. We'll throw some more. Uh, G-dubs out here. Right, let's go for a little bit. So I'm a big DFS guy too. I didn't say I'm a good DFS guy, I just said I'm a big DFS guy. So I got my race going over here. PGA, we're not going to talk about that because that's going to be a burden of failure. Got my NASCAR going. We're already got $13 profit going on there so far, so we'll see how it goes. It's early yet. And we got we got Harvick in first. We get Kyle Bush in second. There we go. I got both those guys rostered. Hey. We're starting out good. Let's hope we don't crash and burn now. Got, got to fit nine burgers on there. Probably won't be able to do it all at once. Got to get a little hot dogs on there for the kids. A little Hebrew nationals because we like the Hebrews here in the man cave. So in case you haven't realized yet, I'm a big Buffalo guy. Born and raised Buffalo, New York. North Taiwan in New York. So big Sabres, Bills guy. I'm gonna fly in some Salem's hot dogs sometime. I haven't had Salem's in a long time, so pretty much get whatever kind of food you want and they'll send it to you. So, Bills make the Super Bowl this year, I'll fly in some Salem's maybe. So, anyways, we're just gonna let those get a little brown. That's the thing about the onions, you don't wanna move them around too much. You got about one flip in them. You're gonna, you're gonna let them sit there, cook a little bit, you're gonna flip them once, then they're going to the pan, otherwise, you're gonna lose them. They're all gonna go into the fire and it's gonna be nothing but aromatic flavor. So, see how it goes. Oh yeah, see like that? Look at that guys. Look at that. That's what you're looking for right there. You want it to be actually a little darker. I want to get some of the grill marks in there. We'll let that go. <laughs> we got a little shot of that smoke. You're not supposed to suck the smoke in. I don't normally smoke unless it's barbecue smoke. So in case you haven't noticed, this Weber grill right here, it's been around. It's been around and cups kind of falling apart a little bit. It's got a little rust in it down at the bottom, but it kind of lost my handle on there, so it'll be a little you find it a little interesting how we open how we open and close this a couple bird fingers every now and then i want to get this on i want to go ahead and put that on cover that up a little bit slow it down a little bit slow it down a little bit we're down to 11. Uh oh you know i only invested five bucks in this today so i'll take a five dollar profit so now we're gonna go ahead and get this isn't this is an ideal this is how it's supposed to be done you're supposed to you're supposed to have a handle right here see if you had a handle right here this would be much easier but this could get a little this could get a little dicey so let's take a look see how we're doing oh there we go Woo, look at that let's put that against this guy all right Put a little flip on these and see how we're doing here yeah you can see a set there yeah we gotta let that fire kick up a little bit this is the only thing about a rainy day there you go look at this right here that's what we're looking for right there right about there is what we're looking for see now you see what i told you though they're starting to break away so that one ain't gonna be wrong we're gonna be putting that one in the pan here in a minute oh yeah look at this there you go look at that that's about ready right there got to flip him there you go almost perfect almost perfect what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add a little bit of oil to the pan just like that, I want a lot, just a little bit. Probably get my garlic. Bring my garlic over here. Just throw those guys in there like that. Move that. Throw that in there. Get a little onions in the fire. That's not bad. Just flavors, the flavors and coals. That's all. All right, let's get all the onions in there. Let's get the other. All right, so let's get our let's get our hot dogs on here. All right, so let's move these back. Those will warm up. Those are right now on the indirect. They'll warm up a little bit. These are going to go for the kids. They don't really like them all that. All they need to do is be warm throughout. We'll throw them on the coals at the end after the burgers are ready. One thing I am going to do before we get the burgers on, crack a little black pepper in there. Let's crack a little black pepper in there like that. A little bit of flavor. There we go. All right. Right yeah, this grill here is not ideal for doing a nine burgers on it. You don't really want to be doing nine burgers on it, but we're trying to improvise them today. All right, so get a little garlic salt on them. 
see, we're getting some flame. So now that we're getting flame, the Weber once you put that on that flame goes right down oh. oh looks like Eric Jones he's got some damage let me guess Stenhouse probably caused it all right so green all right so we got Kyle we got Harvick back up to 13 here we go these are looking guys go a little bit longer on here and then we'll just take them in the house we'll use all this grill and get these burgers done how's this so so what we want to do, and I'm going to move some of these around a little bit. Get a little bit of stick there. Ah. There you go. Right, just this on one more time. You saw those hot dogs were starting to warm up there. You're starting to get a little sheen on them. You're starting to warm up. At the end, again, at the end, I'll throw those over the coals. We'll get a little char on them. Just a little bit for the kids. The kids don't like that much on them anyways. Walter, he likes them burnt. I still haven't burned one yet for him. He told me when we first met him to go ahead and burn one for him. I haven't burned one yet for him. Funny thing is, he always eats them now. You always want to do the hand test, too. How's that look? Can you hold your hand on that? Yeah. The way that is right now, we're about about 2.30. Maybe 2.50. Maybe It'll be hotter over here. Yeah, you can't hold it there. So over here, over here you're about 2.30 or so. Here you're about 3, 3.25. Your hot zone cold though. Oh. Right. Jesus, Star, take a look at them. Right. We're gonna go ahead, guys. And we're gonna take these. We're gonna throw them over here. Let's move real quick. Move our hot dogs over here. Look at that. That's no, no direct heat yet on them. Yeah. Now we gotta move pretty quick here. So let's go ahead. Put that. Put that. Gotta get a good flip going here. Put this on. Now what we'll do, guys. Just the tin. Turn that down a little bit. Restrict our airflow from the bottom. Slow those coals down a bit. Again, you're going to see some guys. They're going to get out here with their nice little digital thermometers. They're going to stick their digital thermometers in there. They're going to do all that crap. I don't do that. I cook it till it's done. I know when it's done. Th how old am I? 50, 55 years old? I haven't got sick off my food yet. Don't intend to start now. I know when it's done. I don't need a thermometer to tell me. Michelle, I got money on the Warriors, so tonight I'm a Warriors fan. Don't let this get out, because I'm not really a Warriors fan. But hey, money has no favorites. He really is a Warriors fan. Oh, actually, I'm a Kings fan, believe it or not. As a kid growing up back in North Tonawanda, New York, I was a Lakers fan. Because I was all things L.A. except for my except for my Buffalo teams. I like baseball as a Dodgers fan. Basketball is a Warriors fan. That, anyways, so basketball is the least favorite sport. I can't really care less. Who wins? If I can make a couple bucks, I'll be happy, man. Off NASCAR. NASCAR is where it's at, though. Football is still my favorite, but NASCAR. How can you not like NASCAR? Like any sport that prays before they, before they race, they are before their game. They don't have the national anthem. They all stand with their hand over their heart. You don't ever, you won't ever see a NASCAR guy kneel. Never. I'll be allowed. Number one wouldn't be allowed. He'd be kicked out of the sport. So here we go. We're gonna flip this. And then there's a lot of just opening this and closing it. You know, until you get them just right here. Let's take a look. See how we're doing. Yeah, these guys are going good here. And there goes my lid. Look at these. Look at these dogs. Those dogs. Very, they're gonna need. Oh yeah. They're gonna need very little. Very little char time on those. Very little. Once I get the burgers ready to go, those will take like about maybe three minutes on the coals. We'll go ahead and get the cheese on here. We're about done. So let's shut that all the way down like that. Let's get this over here. Put that on real quick. Close it all. Count that down. Count that down. We'll get our cheese.
Get our Colby Jack right here. <laughs> Good old Colby Jack cheese. Myself, I like good Swiss cheese. I like all kinds of cheese. Cheese. Any kind of cheese. Alright, so we're gonna put this in for you. Did I mention it'd be so much easier if this had a handle? But what would be the fun in that, would it? What would be the fun in that, guys? Sometimes. Take these, open that up, get in there like that, or, there we go. Alright, spread these out. Alright guys, thank you for tuning in today. Get the cheese on these. Get ready to eat some burgers and watch some basketball and NASCAR. Again, this, thank you for tuning in for episode one. If you like what you see, you want to see where this channel is going to go, subscribe, hit the like button. And I'll see you next time. This is Mike. I'm out.